Hi Blender community, Blender is so versatile software, it's free and anybody can use it and above all there is no doubt that Blender has a very powerful texturing tool. Being a node based system there is no limit how complex a node tree you can build in it. In today's video I'm demonstrating a node called randomized texture node that can randomize the texture across different objects. You can plug 12 different textures in 12 different slots and it will distribute their textures across all objects. This is the node that we are going to build today. It's currently mixing 12 different textures. There is a slider which shows how many input to take in. For example, if you put 3 texture in it, it will randomize only first three texture and all rest of textures are ignored and if you type five here it will take only five texture and if you take two texture only it will randomize only two texture and apply randomly to the different object and the rest within this group this looks might be confusing but believe me it's very easy to set up let's build it i'm opening up a new file create a simple plane first of all we need uh, object info node this node has a, this random output which gives a random number to a different object for example if i have a multiple object in my scene when i copy them with shift r all the objects have a different number this gives me a range of 0 to 1 every object in my scene that currently have this material has a white value from 0 to 1. If I take a math node and multiply this random number to 12 or any other number so I get output range from 0 to 12. Every random number generated by this node will be multiplied to 12 so I have a range from 0 to 12 if I take another math node and choose less than and I set the threshold to 1 I'm telling to the blender every number generated by this random number multiplied with 12 if it's less than 1 make it white if it is greater than 1 make it black so I have only two square which is fulfilling this condition I'm taking a mix node and setting this as a factor to this. I'm switching to a different color so we can differentiate easily. Okay. All these red boxes have a value of more than one. Okay, I select both of them. Make some room. I just need to copy all of them. I will use the shortcut Control shift d to copy while connecting to the root. I'm setting this number to 2. This blue is already decided and the rest are not decided yet. This red texture belongs to them. So I'm plugging this one to the red texture. Change the color and as we can see we have a one more appearing here. I have to copy them again with Control shift d I will set to 3. All the green boxes are yet to be decided. So this goes into the green. This green color is driven by this mixed node and I'm changing the color again for example I'm making this one red okay again I'm making them copy control shift D and this process goes on and on don't forget to change the number to 4 it will goes like this first node has 1 2 3 4 and 5 control shift D again make it 6 Control shift D again to the upper socket make this one 7 ok you get the idea I am just going to stop it here and make only 10 textures make this value to 10 because I am making just 10 nodes I am taking it another math node set this one to snap I don't want any decimal so I am just going to snap it to with the increment of 1 now if I give any value this will to snap to 1 so it's time to make a group Control G to create a group. I'm taking this one out. This is my input texture. Okay, I'm going to name it total texture. So I have that slider. We can plug how many texture that we want. These are the slot where we are going to plug in our random 
our textures so I'm outputting this one as well okay this is the node group this is so easy to create anybody can create it easily without any math knowledge you can download this file in the description in this video okay here we can see some useful application of this node group here i have a simple scene setup i have a bunch of books modeled they all are different books a single material has been applied to all of them i want to apply a different texture to each book randomly first i have to append that node group here is the file now shift a group random texture now i need to import textures okay now we can see this easily 12 random textures are applied to the near about 40 books randomly now i can simply copy them you know the best part is you can create an entire library out of it without any noticeable repetition when you create a new copy a random texture will be applied to it Okay that's it guys that's all in this video thanks for watching